All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. It is officially 10 o'clock. I'm sure you can see that. Today, we're going to walk you through the day of the life of the doctor. Let's get Let's get it. We got a new toy. Alright guys, and welcome to the vlog. I normally don't vlog very much on this channel just because I try to make the tips applicable to you, but I know a lot of you guys want to just kind of see what the day in the life of a doctor looks like, um, kind of what my life looks like on the behind side of this camera. Um, so I'm going to show you. Um, today is Sunday. Uh, I have been up since like 3.30, which has been ridiculous, but sometimes I just wake up. Um, and so as you can see, ooh, that says food. There you go. Um, so it's like five o'clock right now. Um, I have a pretty busy day planned. Uh, I'm gonna go for a morning run once the sun comes up a little bit. Um, and then I have to do some things for residency, things for the website, um, as well as work out. And then it's Sunday, so it's time to chill. Um, but first, we gotta make some coffee. Let's get into it. This is probably my favorite part. <laughs> I just love that every single time. <laughs> Alright, so iced coffee is completely ready. Dishes are placed up. And now I'm gonna do some work again before the sun comes up. But first thing, look at this. This is the life of a doctor who does YouTube. It's like just camera gear everywhere. So let's clean this desk up. The laptop is sitting at a different part. My jacket's over there. We need to clean up early and then we can get to work. All right, so the desk is officially in a workable state. Um, so I'm going to do some work, uh, before we get started, you may be asking why the hell am I up at five o'clock in the morning, um, when I could have a day off. And a lot of times for me, my just natural rhythm is completely all over the place. There's days where I need more sleep. And so I sleep until, you know, whatever time's appropriate, eight, nine, 10 o'clock on days off. And then there's times where I'm just ready to go. It's like three 30 and suddenly I'm just, I have something on my mind I want to work on. Uh, like today I plan on going on a run, but it's only five o'clock and I can't run right now. Cause you can see it's pitch dark outside. Um, but in about an hour, the sun will come up. So we'll go then. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just work on some projects for the MD journey. And I kind of already have my to-do list. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. But there is a to-do list here, um, that I created yesterday of just things that I ideally want to get done today. And I'm going to restructure that do some emails and things that I just need to respond on over the weekend. Um, and I'll catch you guys in a second. A few moments later. Okay, right, so I managed to get a good amount of work done. As you can see, it is nice and bright and sunny. Um, it is about 6.45 and it's approaching 90 degrees here in Texas because we're here in the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. Um, I'm already kind of dressed. Um, to go for a run. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of carbs inside of me. So probably get about five, six, if I'm feeling good, then maybe seven miles today, but we'll see. All right, so I have basically everything I need to basically get to running. Um, usually I take with me some form of snack just in case my carb intake gets a little bit low, so. I have a Lara bar, which is beautiful when it melts in this little pouch that I have because then it tastes like a nice soft chocolate chip cookie. Um, I think I have, I definitely know I have some Gatorade in my fridge. Um, I feel like I look like those people from MTV Crips. We just feel like you have tons of Gatorade in your drink. Uh, really, I'm not living so lively. I just managed to stock up pretty recently. With that, got my food, got headphones, my pouch, got my drink. 
and we're gonna probably go about five to six miles. We'll see you all build pull out. Let's get to it. Three miles in, it's kind of humid. Drink half of this, keep going. Right, so three and a half miles in, and I ran a little bit further to get that amazing view. Now it's time to go back. Right, seven mile run done. Nice thing about where Priya and I live, is that we have this really nice lake fireplace. So it's very easy to go for a run. It goes around 22 miles. So you can easily just do three miles in one direction and come back and do a solid six to seven. So clearly I'm very sweaty. I'm gonna go shower again, have a good breakfast, and then get to work again. All right guys, so officially back from the run, showered, fresh, um, and we are gonna go to Costco soon, Priya and I are. Um, but before then, have some protein shakes just to get the energy back. I don't know if you've ever tried this company, if you guys are not a fan of the after hour taste of protein, which I'm not. I love this company. Um, my protein specifically is easy to pull that out. Um, the mocha flavor really just tastes like a fancy cappuccino um, with some protein powder. So I usually drink one or two of those a day. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm a vegetarian. So it's like the main way I can get a lot of my protein um, in one time. But I'm gonna have this. Um, she's getting ready, then we're gonna go to Costco and just gonna tell you why. Um, as you guys may be able to see, the background of my now YouTube set is much different. Um, and we got a middle friend over here, uh, mainly to help clean our place, because now Priya and I are both not home very often, but dust starts to accumulate on this ground really quickly. And so just to help with that, we got one of those vacuums, but this one is pretty stupid. Um, it gets stuck all over the place, specifically underneath our couch and so we are going to upgrade a little bit just because it's a little bit silly of dropping that much money and then having to pick it up five or six times so we're going to upgrade to one kind of like maps around the apartment um and so it'll be a good investment for us and you guys will understand in the next few videos of why we're getting one in the first place uh but yeah let's have some of the protein shake i'm going to try to do some work until she's ready but right now it is 9 24 in the morning we definitely have a long way to go the rest of the day and a lot more work to do uh, a protein shake first. So a nice jug of milk. And we're going to have some of this. If you guys want a link, uh, kind of a coupon, I'm always doing discounts on my protein. Um, I'll put one down below um, for this flavor if you guys are interested. Um, but there's a lot of good flavors that I've tried. If you're somebody who loves chocolate, um, there are plenty of amazing flavors. Cookie and cream. Um, there's even some that tastes like cinnamon rolls and french toast. I haven't tried those yet, but I have a huge sweet tooth, you can't tell. So usually I just do one scoop, it's probably 18 grams of protein, which I feel like it's pretty good. And then usually one of my meals is kind of protein heavy later in the day, so it works out. I always forget to put these things in, and then I'm surprised at why it's like super clumpy. So there you go. So the beauty of my protein too is that it's just like nicely mixes. So you just don't have like those chunks of protein. This is by no means sponsored, although my protein you feel listen. Get your boy up. And now that we're done with my little pro moment, um, protein shake is good. Priya is getting ready. And so I'm just going to do a little bit of work. We are going to Costco, so I usually on days where I really want to be productive, I try not to do a big piece of kind of work right before you're kind of being gonna be interrupted by like going to the grocery store or something. And so I'm just gonna pick something that's kind of easy and quick to start and that way has momentum. So when I come back, I can like pick up where I left off. Um, so yeah, let's get to work. All right guys, so we are officially back from all of our chores. I actually ended up taking a nap because I was super tired, had some lunch. And as I mentioned, we got a new toy, <laughs> which is quite funny. So I showed you guys the vacuum we used to have. Um, this thing apparently talks, which we were not ready for. Um, Priya was trying to take it back to this charging station, which naturally it's supposed to like be able to navigate itself and go back. But because it usually comes with a low battery, um, it tells me very loudly that it has a low battery. So we tried to pick it up and what did it say? I'm suspended. <laughs> yeah. It's like a very robotic voice. So 
we're gonna have to get used to literally having a third talking voice in the house. Uh, but it should be cool. This thing actually both vacuums and mops. So later on today, we'll test it out. Um, and if I enjoy it, then I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, it is a bit pricey, but it's a bit of an investment, especially if you have a big house and hardwood and carpet that attracts a lot of hair, um, like our place does. But um, right now it is four o'clock, so we're gonna do a little bit of work, and then we usually go for a walk in the evening, so that's probably gonna be the plan. Um, but I'll catch you guys soon. 